Hey, Chef Ro here. Today I'm going to talk about trussing a chicken. Now this same technique can be used uh, no matter what bird you're working with, but this is a technique that we use for whole birds when we roast them. Um, turkeys, ducks, chickens, yes. Uh, the reason that we do this is twofold. Number one, it helps the meat cook more evenly. Number two, it makes it look prettier. Uh, when you first pull a chicken out of the bag, it's usually mm. So putting that on your table after it's cooked, it's going to still look like that. And so it's not as pretty. If you want that picture perfect roast chicken that you put on your table, you do need to truss it before you um, put it in the oven. Not hard to do and only requires one small piece of equipment. The only small piece of equipment that I'm going to need is kitchen twine. This is easily found at any grocery store even usually um, or online. Uh, if you've ever watched Bridget Jones's Diary, the movie, you'll know that you want to make sure to use kitchen twine and not blue string lest you end up with blue soup. Uh, so kitchen twine is a cotton string that is oven safe, food safe, and it won't have any color to it so that it won't add any color to your food. Okay, so that's the only equipment you need is just a piece of kitchen twine or string. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get these wingtips tucked under. Uh, if we leave the bird like this, these wingtips are going to burn. Okay, so all you do is you pull it out and push with your thumbs back this direction so that the wingtips are tucked under. Since this is usually how you put the bird in the oven, those wingtips are going to be protected and won't burn. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the string and we're going to put it under the legs. Okay, just under this uh, joint right above where the feet would be. Okay, and we're going to make an X. After we make the X, we're going to put it right back under the legs. Okay, so basically I've done like a figure eight around the legs and I'm going to pull it closed. Okay. Then all I do is take my string all the way up around and tie it. Once I've got this tied here, I make sure and pull it nice and tight. You can see how the chicken just pulls together nice and tight. And I usually just tie a bow. Now if you have excess string here, I usually will trim that off uh, just so that it doesn't get soaked up in the grease. But this is how we're gonna put our bird into the oven. Now you don't wanna remove this string until the bird has already come out of the oven. As it cooks, the proteins will coagulate in this shape, and this is exactly how the bird will come out of the oven. And once you take off the string, it'll stay just like this. So it's going to be nice and pretty for you to put on your table. Uh, you can see how nice and tight and compact this looks. It looks much nicer, and it will cook much more evenly this way. Hopefully I've been able to show you how easy and important trussing is when you're preparing a whole roast chicken or duck or turkey, uh, any bird. Um, hopefully now you understand how to do it and you'll do it every time. 